I've been playing the bass for over 20 years. I had a lot of different basses, amps, pedals and gear during this time. But I'm lucky enough to own some of the best instruments after all these years. It took almost 15 years for me to find the right instruments that matches with my personal taste in terms of sound and playability. And in today's vlog, I'm going to show and give some information about my gear. Let's start with my basses. This is MTD 534 with 24 frets. This bass has a solid black limba body, maple neck, Honduran rosewood fingerboard, matching headstock and truss rod cover. Like all of my other MTDs, this bass also has 17mm ink spacing at the bridge. Bartolini swap bar pickups made for MTD and Bartolini preamp that Mike uses for all the 535 and 534 lineup. You can hear the sound of this bass in a couple of tracks from my first solo album called As It Is. Also check the Spotify link below. And here is my second MTD. This is the bass that you might see me playing most of the time. It has alder body with maple neck, bubinga fingerboard and beautiful flame redwood top. This one has Bartolin single coils and identical preamp that Mike uses for MTD USA Saratoga lineup. I recorded my second album called Transitions with only this bass. Check the Spotify link below for listening the album. This is my third MTD. It has roasted ash body, roasted bird's eye maple fingerboard, maple neck and holly top. Like my flame redwood topped MTD, this base also has Bartolini single coils, an identical preamp that Mike uses for MTD USA Saradoka lineup. Here is my 78 Fender Jazz Bass, Ash Body, Rosewood Fingerboard. I feel lucky enough to have one of these basses. It feels and sounds amazing. The only problem with this bass is it's too heavy. I am playing and recording all my stuff through my Ike amps, which made in Germany. I have T900 head, a 4x10 cabinet, and two 112XS cabinets. I also have a medium sized baseboard, which I highly recommend for those who use in ear monitors on stage. Here is my pedal board that I built last year. I use the board for my solo performances. I create loops with using TC Electronic Ditto X2 and Electro Harmonix Freeze pedals. I have TC Electronic Nova Repeater Delay, two of TC Electronic Hall of Fame, TC Electronic Boost pedal, Mark Bass Compressor, Muir Tremolo and Chorus pedal on the board. I love the sound of both OC2 octave pedals, but it's almost impossible to find one of these nowadays. I highly recommend 3-leaf audio octave pedals if you are looking for OC2 kind of sounds. Also, Electro Harmonix Micropog is an amazing tool for those who are looking for a polyphonic octave generator. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you. <laughs>